welcome students to the Division of Education, Innovation and Energy e-learning program in partnership with Family Life Tobago. My name is Berth James. Today we present to you Life at the Crossroad, a character education program built on hope, life and truth. As we look at our lessons today, we want to emphasize that standing strong in difficult times as a people of character is very important. For our lesson, we want to look at the rationale behind our presentation today. Today, our rationale states, to provide students with the tools and skills they need as they navigate this current challenging situation due to the pandemic to refocus and achieve good success in their exams. Also, we want to look at our objectives. There are four objectives we want to look at. First, define role model and character. Show the golden rule as a foundation of character. Define each of the six pillars of character and show how the pillars support the golden rule. Role model. Definition of a role model states a person who is usually effective or inspiring in some social role, job, etc., and so serves as a model for others. What the definition is saying, in order for you to be able to present the kind of character that will impact your society, your nation, you have to also incorporate what is known as a role model. Here are some persons you may be aware of and you may consider as your role model. We have first Alkaline. He is one of your entertainers. We have our Prime Minister, Dr. The Honorable Keith Rowley. And we have a mixture of sports and entertainment personalities. I'm sure you are aware of Nicholas Paul. Also, Keishan Walcott. And while I am doing this, you can even think about how these persons have been impacting our nation and what kind of impact they have on you as models that we can look at. We also have, from the entertainment area, we have Blessed Messenger and Positive. Not forgetting Kelly and Batiste. Now, a role model is very important. There is another slide we, we present to you. This person is well known. And this person says, I'm no role model for other people's kids. That is the job of parents and not to entertainers like me. I want you to think about that statement. Because a role model is anyone others look up to and wants to be like him or her. So, in these pictures, Cartel is a role model, even if he disagrees. In essence, he is either good or bad. You have to decide. Now, there are reasons why persons may choose role models, and you may have your reasons as well. Here are some reasons persons have given us as to why they go about choosing their role models, as to how they go about choosing their role models. Some would say they're rich, hip, body type, sing good, dress nice, personality, beliefs, religion, race, and identity. Wanting to identify with someone. And I'm sure you would have had that experience. But as you prepare for your, for your exams, you have to also think of how these persons are impacting on your, in your life and the kind of influence they bring that weighs down on you as you prepare for your exams. Very, very important students. So as we go forward, I want to encourage you, take some time to think about the role models which you have identified in your own life and how they impact your life presently, given the fact that you are already facing a lot of distractions 
a lot of social pressures and mental uh, pressures as well. So, do you realize, students, that you are a role model as you influence others? Yes, you do influence others. Your friends, your peers, and even people in your community, in your household. You are an influence on them. You may have a little brother, a little sister. Your words may fall on deaf ears, but you are always being observed. So, be a good role model. Are you comfortable with what others see in you? Are you? So let's look at the definition of character. All the qualities that distinguishes a person's behavior. What you do, how you behave. How then can character be developed? Character can be developed consistently doing the right thing in difficult situations over time. Importantly, consistently doing the right thing in difficult situations over time. Very, very important. So character then describes the person you are when no one is seeing you. Suppose you had a ring that made you invisible and no one can see you. What would you do? Good things, bad, or selfish things? Because what you do determines your character. As people of character, we need to constantly develop ourselves in healthy ways. Additionally, you would need to develop good attitudes and behavior through constant practice. Constant practice. It will take practice because character isn't developed in one day. Those who do not easily become, easily become people of flawed character and therefore it presents a challenge for further development. Let's look at the golden rule. Do unto others as you would have them do to you. Think of this. What if the way you treated others became the same standard by which everyone lived? What kind of world would we have? We must therefore be examples of what we want our world to be like. Take a look at this picture. What do you see? A world in which we ignore the golden rule or character is really a crumbling world. Do you think the foundation of the world is crumbling as you look around you in the face of what we are experiencing even now? For example, a house on an unstable foundation will fall. There is an animated picture we have presented to you students. And the side of that picture is a crumbling world. What we need to do is first repair the foundation. To repair this foundation, the question is, how do we do that? For the rest of this presentation, students, we will be presenting to you basic tools and materials for repairing the foundation. To repair the foundation, we need something that is strong. Something like the six pillars of character. I'm sure you may have remembered some of these pillars. What are they? First, we have what? Fairness. Also caring. Trustworthiness. Responsibility. They are all there. And they are the pillars that hold up our world. We need you to help us repair these pillars. And as you prepare for your exams, we want you to play focus on, focus on the golden rule. Because the golden rule is what it will take in repairing this foundation. Let's look at respect as we look into the pillars, as we take a closer look into these pillars. Respect simply states we honor people because they are in our lives, in our space, and their role and function in our lives 
are what we should respect, like our parents, teachers, nurses, etc. Also, if we disrespect these people and they return a favor to us, how would you feel? But the golden rule speaks to this question, respecting everyone because we are all of the human family created in God's image. Respect for people's property. As we respect others, we also respect their property and we treat their property with care and concern because that's how we would want others to treat our property. Given that, which of the following, in your opinion, shows respect for property? There are four examples that we have given. I want you to take a close look at these examples and you make the choice based on the statement given, the question. Respect for yourself. The golden rule says, do unto others as you would have them do unto you. So your good expectation, students, for yourself is really the standard. Sadly, self-hate born out of abuse is very real for many, and so they think and act in self-destructive ways. But you must remember, you are created in the image and likeness of God, and therefore deserve to be treated like that. In some cases, you may also need to see a counselor if the situation persists. How do you show respect for your parents, yourself, teachers and peers, elders, are also captured in, on this website, 40 ways to respect your parents. If you have your phone with you, you can take a screenshot or you can write it as quick as possible. Let's look at the pillar of caring. Caring means being kind and compassionate to others sharing with them. It means helping others, especially at this time. We must be sensitive to others and their needs. We cannot afford to be mean nor insensitive to others and what they are going through. What would it be like to live in a world where no one cared for anyone else? What kind of world would that be? Here are some ways that I can show caring. You can also show caring in our present situation. These are some simple ways you can do that. I want you to take a look, up, look at it. I can just identify a few. Let someone go before me in the line. Or what about this one? You are at home right now. Help a sibling with their homework. Everything now is done online. So you have an opportunity and various opportunities to demonstrate caring. As a responsible person, we look at the pillar responsibility. Responsibility means carrying out your roles and duties as expected. Also, it means to act responsibly with your family, friends, teachers, and your neighbors. What about you? A responsible person pursues excellence and exercises self-restraint. Now is a good time to exercise self-restraint with the amount of distractions around you and exam right in front of you. As a responsible person, you have to take note of the word excellence as your focus goal and exercise self-restraint. Now, what would our world be like if no one practiced responsibility? I want you students to think of that for a moment. While you are thinking, also take note of this. How can you become responsible? First, change your mindset and motivate yourself. You can set goals, practice objectivity, and establish and follow routines. There might also be some routines you may need to change because of the present 
situation that exists in your own environment and across our nation, those routines may prevent you from achieving the excellence that you really desire. So you, it is important that you change, look at the mindset that you have, shift around, change around some things so that you can be able to reward yourself from time to time. Be honest with yourself. If something isn't working, you can change it. Okay? Share your plans. There might be a person close to you, you will need to share your plans with because they might be able to guide you and give you some level of support that will ensure that you become as responsible as you desire. Operationalize. It simply means put into practice. Let's look at trustworthiness. Being trustworthy is simple. It means being worthy of trust. A person I trust must earn my trust Earn my trust, responsible in his speech and action. What you say, what you do. Anyone who is not responsible with a secret or secrets he or she has heard or does not do what he or she expected, is expected to do will never be trusted. And for you to become a trustworthy person, Someone must be able to trust you. But remember, your speech and your actions are critical to you being trusted. Can you see how trustworthiness reflects the golden rule? And by the way, can you remember the golden rule? Do unto others as you would like them do unto you. There are nine traits of trustworthy people. Take a look at them. They are authentic, they are consistent, they have integrity, they are compassionate, very kind, they are resourceful, they are connectors, being able to interact, being able to pull people together, being able to create a kind of environment where people feel safe. And also they are humble and they are available. If we had no doctors, no nurses, if we had no officials during this period of illness, sickness, and the pandemic crisis we face, if we could not trust those persons, where would our world be? Take a look at the pictures that we have also listed here today that shows and demonstrate trustworthiness. Another pillar of character students is fairness. Those who practice fairness treat all people fairly and do the following. They listen to others and try to understand what they are saying and feeling. They listen. In order to be fair, we must give others the opportunity to be heard. They make decisions that affect others based only on appropriate considerations. So look at the situations around you and remember this, remember this word, appropriate considerations. They don't take unfair advantage of others' mistakes. We all may make mistakes. But it is not a good thing to take advantage of others' mistakes. To be fair means to note, if I would be fair, then I must not be a person who takes advantage of others and their mistakes. Do you know of anyone who is fair most of the times? So ask yourself this question, are you a fair person? Do you treat others the way you would like to be treated? What about taking turns? 
Are you always trying to get ahead of others? Do you tell the truth? And the list goes on. How about this one? Are there favorites in your life? And because of this, they take precedent over others? And this one, do you think about how your actions may affect others? Very, very critical and important areas to look at. We want to also look at citizenship. A pillar that is very important, especially at this time. As a good citizen, it is very, very critical that you take note of what comes after. It means those who practice this pillar are known for the following. Playing by the rules and obeying laws. The CMO says, make sure and maintain your social distance. Six feet apart, put on your mask. Wear your mask every day. How many of you have been doing this? I am sure not many. However, citizenship says, playing by the rules and obeying laws are a good demonstration that you are a wonderful citizen. Next, we have doing your share and paying your dues, taxes. So for those persons who pay taxes, ensuring that they are not dishonest, they are good citizens. Respecting authority. Very important. How many of you respect what the Prime Minister said? Staying informed and voting when necessary. Many of you may not be at the age where you can vote at this time. But I want you to think of it while you are looking at this slide. Maybe something to think of in the future. Then we have worked for the greater good by helping your community or school by volunteering. At this time, how much volunteer work have you seen uh, via your television or your internet from all the NGOs who have come forward and have been helping those in need? I'm sure you, have, you would have seen some. Those persons are known as good citizens, or they are looked at good citizens, demonstrating this important pillar called citizenship. So it's good for you to get into. Protecting your neighborhood and community. Ensure that you are a part of that whole safety net in your community. What about protecting the environment and conserving it for all time? Do you litter? Do you encourage others to litter? Or do you encourage others to ensure that they keep that area clean? One of the best ways to ensure that you support the pillar of citizenship is encourage others in your community. Encourage those in your home to be good neighbors, not littering, but preserving that environment, preserving the air that we breathe, ensuring that we remain clean, green, serene as an island. So students, be a good citizen and get an education. Your community and your country need the best minds to make it better. And you are key to ensuring that this happens. Picture a crumbling house. No one will risk building a house with faulty or weak pillars. It will soon crumble. And as we reflect on those six pillars of character, I want you to take a closer look at what would your life and your situation be like if you did not incorporate these six pillars into your life. It will surely be like this. Many of us will be like this house. If we did not incorporate those six pillars of character within the framework of how we are going to achieve good success in our lives. So too, if you build your life with 40 weak pillars, your life and your future, your education will also crumble. We are depending on you to ensure that you 
put into practice the principles of these six pillars of character. Intentionally, choose your materials well. So let's recap on what we have done so far. We talked about character and the importance of consistently doing the right thing. We looked at the foundation of character being our golden rule. Do unto others as you would have them do unto you. Which also holds up the six pillars of character. First one, call them as I go through them. Respect. Caring. Responsibility. Trustworthiness. Fairness and, you got it right, citizenship. All these hold up our world. Why not document your journey as you seek to rebuild the foundation of our world? We need you to assist us as we build our world. Remember our golden rule. Also, our six pillars of character and we need you to ensure that our world is safe. That's it for now, students. So on behalf of the Division of Education, Innovation and Energy and Family Life Tobago, thank you for watching and see you next time.